Hey guys, it's Mike. I'm going to do one more video today. This one's on jockeys. Um, as we know in the current game, jockeys are pretty unfriendly and not very easy to navigate. I'm hoping that this corrects part of that problem. Um, I went over here to miscellaneous and I'm going to um, go to jockeys. So then what I'm going to do is um, we can look at jockeys. The layout is similar to the way that you can do races. Um, you can look by track, you can look by region. Uh, and let's go ahead, for instance, and just look by, uh, let's look at all the jockeys in the Americas region. Everything's checked, so we don't have to go uncheck anything. We're just going to look at the American jockeys right now. Okay, here's some American jockeys. You can sort them with these uh, columns. Right now, unfortunately, some of my um, stats are askew. Um, and that's because I was running a new version and old version. I'm not going to merge the jockey stats until I get done. So if I were to look by in the money percentage, and obviously some of these numbers are, are crazy. But um, one thing that's probably still relatively accurate is we can search by dollars per race. Some of our better jockeys in the game are still going to pop up here because I do update those. Um, I, I sweep them in every week. So there's... Um, you know, some of our better jockeys. Another way to do it, and this is important, is um, there's a new field called R-Men. And what R-Men is, is jo certain jockeys will no longer ride in low-level claiming races unless um, they ride for the sponsor. So, for instance, uh, Gossett's not going to ride in any claiming race that's 85000 anything less than $85,000. That's his minimum. He's not going to ride in an $80,000 claim race. He doesn't have to. Heck, he's the best jockey in the sim. Why would he? Why would he do that? So um, the other thing, uh, we can look at quarterly lifetime. Um, you know, and if we do that, say we want to only focus on quarterly stats. Uh, and there's Gossett again. He's popping up to the top because he's pretty good. Well, actually, because we got R men sorted, and he uh, he's the highest R men. Um, but the other things that uh, you're going to notice quickly too is that he's highlighted, and that's because I actually have him as uh, jockey selected, um, and. Unlike now, where you have to go across certain stables or all your stables and um, pick your jockeys every week, depending on where you're racing, that's no longer the case. You kind of set them and forget them. So let's say, for instance, that um, I wanted to go ahead. I've got Gossett set, so let's look at a uh, child here. B child. Um, all I have to do to flag him as a jockey of interest is simply save this. I'll show you this other stuff in a second, but if I save him. Okay, jockey information saved. And if I were to update this list again, oh shoot, I accidentally clicked that button. Let's unclick it. But you'll see he's in blue. That means he's a jockey that um, I've got flagged. Um, so he's ready to go. Now, what else you're going to notice here is there's some new things. Ride priority is simply, um, you know, if, if a tiebreaker between two jockeys, the one with a higher ride priority is going to get it. But also, um, just for you sorting. So um, let's say if I had a ride priority, a guy with a ride priority is zero. There's a guy with a ride priority of one at the same track, and everything else is the same, then the, and the, both of them were available, then the guy with the ride priority of one is who I get. But we do have a couple of other um, sliding bars here, and these are new. And ride priority, you know, is uh, important, and it's kind of like the way that we would sort them before, just, you know, from the, the sorting one to 20, or, yeah. But um, you can actually now um, change the percentage of winnings, or you can guarantee the jockey money. All jockeys will make $10 for racing. It's pretty cheap. Um, or 10% of the purse is the lowest. So if they, um, you know, if, if you have Bob Child, I guess we'll just call him Bob here. If you have Bob on your horse for um, a race and he won, and the race was $100,000, well, the purse, um, if you won, you get $60,000 for your horse and then he get 10% of those winnings. That goes without saying now. So it's $6,000. But say that you wanted to encourage Bob to ride your horse. Um, and this is where the sim money comes into play. Um, you can actually say, okay, Bob, well, instead of 10%, let's say, well, let's give you 15% if you win. And um, you can go all the way up, and I know this is crazy, but again, it's a game, and um, we just have to make it, you know, have to make it fun. Again, people aren't going to use money realistically, so um, I may as well not even encourage that. <laughs> or I try to encourage it, but I may as well not, um, you know, I may as well give them the opportunity to spend the sim money if they want to. We can take it all the way up to 50% of the winnings. So in this case, um, that $100,000 claim race, if we had said, okay, Bob, you get 50% of the winnings, um, if he finishes out of the money, he still gets his um, still gets his minimum ride, which is like $10. If he wins, though, again, your horse would have won $60,000. Well, Bob's going to get $30,000 of them. So um, this is something to encourage Bob to ride your horse. But the other thing that encourages Bob 
as much or even more is those guarantee percent. So let's say we go back down to 10%, but our guarantee percent is 100%. That means that you are guaranteeing Bob 10% of the overall, um, what he would have made had the horse won the race. So in this case, if you guaranteed, if you gave Bob 10% of the winnings, but you guaranteed them all in that $100,000 race, even whether he wins or loses or whatever he does with the horse, he's going to get just as if he'd have won the race. So in that case, he would get, um, you know, his uh, $6,000 because it's 10% of what the winner's share would have been. And to make that even more interesting, you can guarantee uh, up to 50%, 100% of 50%. So in this case, Bob would cost you $30,000 because if you won, you'd have got 60000 uh, but you're giving him 50% of that winning, so 30000 and you're guaranteeing it 100%. So in this case, Bob would get $30,000. If you don't get $30,000, that's okay because, uh, you know, Bob will just take it out of your money from your from your stable. So, you know, and, and this is nice to use, but again, and this was to recall this from another video, if you go negative, you can no longer enter your horses and stakes races, so that becomes a problem. Um, so if he's active, you know, let's let's actually not do this. I'm, I'm willing to give Bob a guarantee because I like Bob. Uh, I'll give him 5% and I'll give him 15% of the winnings instead of 10. So this will encourage him a little bit. And ride priority, he's, he's a good one. We'll stick him up here at 100. So he's, he's updated. Um, so that's what these mean. Now, the one thing you can't do is... I guess can or can't do is jockeys are still more likely to ride horses with higher entry points regardless of what you do with the percentage winnings or guarantee you're really not going to do anything more than double your chances of getting the jockey which is a lot um you know if you're in a stakes race say that uh say that the um first horse has 100 entry points and you have 51 and he does nothing to encourage bob here to ride his horse and um you know, you give him 100%. If you were the, you know, if the top horse had 100, your horse is second, he has 51. This would get you Bob over the other guy, even if he wanted him, because you've encouraged Bob to come with guarantees and in, uh, increasing his percentage of winnings. So this is a way to, um, you know, use your sim money. I know people have been wanting to use the sim money, and this is a good way to do it. Um, get better jockeys. So that's how this works. Um, you know, you hit save. You can also... Um, remove Bob here so you know now he's out now he's out of the question so if we do an update list you'll see he's no longer um, you know he no longer has anything but um, what you can do also is um, you know you can look at only the jockeys you have your interest in this flagged. so if we were to do flagged right now all we have is gossip if we went back and looked at all active jockeys and gave uh, Bob here and you know let's give him his 5 and 15 back or 15 and 5 I guess and um yeah there we go so let's uh change his ride priority to 100 save him then if i looked at flagged there's bob and frank i guess is what we'll call him i think that's what most people in the game call him so um but that's that's the way that you uh you know choose your jockeys and again the nice thing about this is this works across all stables so you don't have to be stable specific as well as um not only does it work across all stables you set it once and you don't have to set it every week or say that you're running at California this week. You don't run there for four months, but you know, you run there four months from now. That's okay because you, you had gossip set for California and he'll stay. Um, finally, the other thing to note on these jockey selections is, um, and I, I guess it's not so much for the selections, but it's something to explain. Jockeys are now going to start traveling on their own and they are going to travel to um, better races. Uh, the global jockeys obviously won't travel unless you're looking at um, a huge race, you know, a big, uh, you know, um, you know, like a breeder's bowl or something of that nature. They'll travel for that. Um, but jockeys, you know, even in the same um, hemisphere, and, you know, I call it hemisphere, but I guess they're really actually global side. Um, they're going to start traveling more even to get to grade one. So um, gossip... You know, during the week, he's going to be riding in California a lot because we don't have a lot of grade ones in the game during the week. But on the weekend, don't be surprised. Um, he's going to follow his heart to wherever he thinks he's got a good chance of winning. And um, usually that's going to be a grade one race for him. So you can actually get him 
uh, racing, you know, say you're racing grade one in Texas. Um, you might see him come, and I don't have this yet, but what I'm planning on doing is having a little calendar or something here where you can click his upcoming calendar and see where he's running. The good news is, is you don't have to worry anymore about, um, you know, changing these weekly, so you set them and forget them. And, uh, you know, the ride, pr ride priority is one of those things where, you know, it'll try to get you this jockey first if it can, but um, if you're guaranteeing other jockeys, um, you know, uh, let me see. No, actually, I think the ride... No, if you guarantee more jockeys, you can actually get this thing um, a little bit flipped over. So um, you probably want your higher priority jockeys to have the percentage winnings and guaranteed higher than your lower priority jockeys. So, um, you know, and I guess that really makes sense. I don't... I think it will flip. So don't try to... Don't try to game the... Um, or don't try to, you know get certain guarantees higher for jockeys you think of lower. They should kind of uh, go hand in hand with a percentage of winnings and guarantees. So um, anyway, uh, so jockeys travel now again and you know I showed you how you can pick jockeys and flag them. So that's it for now. Um, I think that's probably enough information on the jockeys to get your get your hands around. Uh, and that's about it. Uh, again, you can click on an individual uh, track. We got them flagged so if we want to all active jockeys of california you just you just click california and it'll show you all the ones in california um but that's about it for now so i'm going to pause this thing and ben has a baseball game here shortly i've got to get him prepared for he's still in a uh, dire need of uh, coaching and i'm not the best coach but i'm better than nothing so i'm going to go try to coach him up a little bit what dads do so that's it and i will talk to you guys soon thanks